Lamy has announced their 2023 special edition All Stars, uh, plural, because they're doing two of them this year. They usually do one, and they usually do some safari or safaris. But anyway, what they've got going on this year, I'm totally digging it. They have two different colors, petrol and lilac. Uh, so basically the layout of this video, I'm gonna show you these pens, show you some other colors that they compare to just so you can see what's up and make some ink recommendations. Now I love the Lamy All Star, the finish on these, basically every single color looks really good. I don't know, whatever it is, just the, the way that the aluminum, you know, takes that finish and it looks kind of matte, but also shiny, just almost kind of glows. And it kind of looks like that for every single color. That's what I really love about these All-Stars. You know, the pen itself, I won't get into deep detail about all the aspects of it because I've done so many videos on the All-Star already. But we got several other that we can link to here. And I recommend you watch them out if you want more details. The All-Star, just like most of the Lamy pens, it takes the same nib and feed and all that kind of stuff. It's a really good, Reliable writer, good workhorse pen, and uh, it is gonna be available in extra fine, fine and medium nib on these special editions, but you can also pretty easily swap it out with the broad 1.1, 1.5, or 1.9, which Lamy offers available separately. Now let's start out with the Petrol, okay? So comparing the Petrol to the Safari of the same name. Uh, obviously the pen itself looks somewhat similar, but it's metal instead of plastic. The Petrol Safari was a matte finish as well, but um, you know, aesthetically, uh, the finish itself looks a little different, but the color is actually pretty spot on. So um, I think Petrol is the best name they could have come up with for this one. And honestly, I think this is probably my favorite Safari they've ever done, if I had to kind of you know pick one. So I think the way that they did this All Star is awesome, and I think this is it's going to be hard to top this pen for any other color they're coming out in any of the other special editions this year. So if I put the Petrol Safari aside here, um, another color that I think is kind of close, not a lot of people have this or kind of remember this, but this is the Lamy Studio Special Edition from 2017, and it's called Racing Green. So it's got a little bit of more of a hint of red to it, um, but the color is fairly close, uh, and I really dig this one too. Uh, so just a little bit there to help you compare. Comparing it to another Lamy Studio, this was from 2019 as the special edition. This is Aqua Marine, so not quite as blue as Aqua Marine. Uh, the petrol is a little darker. So going to All Stars here, this is not the same color, but this ocean blue. This is probably one of the more popular All Star colors. It's a regular edition, uh, and I thought maybe it'd be helpful just to show them next to each other, so you can see how green that petrol really is. So this is another special edition All Star. This is blue green. This is from 2014 which is actually kind of a while ago now that I think about it. Uh, very much a lighter color, greener color, but um, that Petrol really obviously looks dark next to this one. So I have two other All-Stars, both special editions to compare it to. These two are hard to tell from each other, uh, but they're much lighter than the Petrol. Uh, the one that I have all the way on the left here is Pacific, and that one was from 2017. And the other one in the middle is Tourmaline. This is a special edition from 2020. So lots of different bluish greenish kind of options, um, but basically the Petrol Safari is the best one to compare it to, and I'm really glad to see this one in the All-Star lineup. All right, so let's talk about ink for this Petrol, right? Um, just like all of the Lamy pens, you can add a Z28 converter, which is an extra six bucks, but you know, the pen doesn't come with it unfortunately, but you can add one on pretty easily. Um, or you can use Lamy proprietary cartridges, but you get a lot more color options if you go with the bottled ink, so that's, kind of what I recommend. So one thing that was really cool back with the Safari when they did this is they did a matching Petrol ink. Unfortunately, they did not bring that back for the All-Star. I don't know why, but you know, I'm sure there's still supply chain stuff from COVID life happening, but either way, we don't have any specific ink that's coming out with this pen, but the good thing is there's a lot of really good color choice matches for Petrol. And so I'm gonna make you some recommendations here. Starting off with the Lamy ink colors, I have a Lamy Crystal Amazonite. This is a popular ink just in and of itself normally, uh, but I think it, it does pretty darn well with Petrol. All right, next choice I have is Lamy Crystal Peridot. Now this is a brighter green, more like a Sherwood like forest type green. Uh, so it kind of pulls that, that out of it. it. You know, probably the truest color is like a blend between Amazonite and Peridot, but they're both I would, I would you know, feel okay putting both of them in and saying that it matches close enough. Next choice I have is Sailor Shikiyori Yama Dori, which is a really, really nice color on its own. This is going to be honestly a pretty close match uh, to this ink color. And it has even just a little bit of a hint, a little bit of a hint of uh, some red sheen, uh, which, you know, isn't really on the pen, but it kind of gives a little bit of that X factor that the 
the anodized finish gives. I don't know, for some reason it just, in my eyes, it, it kind of makes it seem like it matches more, even though it probably has nothing to do with the actual color. All right, next one is Private Reserve Blue Suede. This is a, actually a really nice color. It kind of gets overlooked, doesn't get a lot of attention necessarily in the Private Reserve line, but it's a great color match for this pen. Pelican Edelstein Aquamarine is the next one. Of course, the bottle is gorgeous. The presentation on this one is fantastic, uh, but Aquamarine is a really, really good color and uh, you know, pretty solid one for this pen too. Next one's an Organic Studio. This is Aldous Huxley. This is a deeply saturated color. You're definitely gonna get some sheen on this one. I think this one is, is a pretty solid match, especially if you're putting it down real heavy. Um, you're gonna see really the darkness that, that Petrol has. Um, so yeah, this is, this is an easy recommend. Noodler's Turquoise. This one, you know, Turquoise, you wouldn't think of that being this kind of darker Petrol color, but that's the way that Noodler's Turquoise leans anyway. So just looking at the name of it, you may not think it matches too well, but on paper, I think it does. Next, we have one of the weirdest name inks that I'm <laughs> giving you in this list, the Monteverde Sweet Life Iced Cookie. I have no idea why this is a dark teal color, but you know, it kind of works and it, you know, I don't know, cookies are good. So <laughs> whatever, no, it's good, it's a good color. All right, and last one I have on the list, kind of going with the weird choices. Uh, this is Diatramentus Scented Plum. Yeah, it actually is a scented ink. And uh, that's kind of weird. Not a lot of scented inks out there, but I don't know. Does that make you feel anything about petrol? Probably not, but it's a dark color that dark teal, it kind of matches. It's not plum colored. I have no idea why it's named this, but I don't know, it's interesting. And you probably didn't know this ink existed. <laughs> All right, so there's your petrol, but we got a second special edition All-Star, which is super cool. This is lilac. Again, not dark lilac. If I compare it next to dark lilac, you can tell it's pretty different colors, which is why one is called dark and the others not, which kind of makes sense. Uh, the, the lilac itself is a, is a really nice color, I gotta say. It's definitely got, I mean, it's a, it's a purple, but it's got a lot of pink to it. I think lilac is a super fitting name. Personally, I have a hard time disassociating it with dark lilac as it's dark purple, um, but honestly, it's a really nice color. And if you can kind of, you know, not be too hung up on the dark lilac aspect of things, uh, you, can, you can really get into this lilac. But uh, it just goes to show you here compared to each other, how different they really are. The pen that I do think it's closest to is actually the Vibrant Pink All-Star. Now this was a special edition from 2018, going a few years back here. The Vibrant Pink is got a little more magenta to it. It's a little brighter in color. You can definitely see more of the purple in the lilac, especially when you compare it next to this Vibrant Pink. And to give you an even better comparison here, um, because I think these three are fairly close. This is the regular edition All-Star Dark Purple. Now this is the one that's just regularly available. We used to call it purple, but we found out later it was called dark purple. So anyway, this, so this is the regularly offered one. You got the vibrant pink in the middle and then the lilac all the way on the right there. And then I got a couple other all-stars to compare it to because why not? <laughs> I've got the ruby red all-star, which goes all the way back to 2011. Whew, I feel like I'm going back into history here. And then this one is strawberry. I honestly don't remember what year this was, but it's on the internet somewhere. Um, definitely a lighter pinky red kind of a color, but you can see more of the purplish kind of color of the lilac coming out of that one. So I don't know, they've done a lot of good all-stars in this range and honestly, they all look pretty good. Now I got two other pens to compare just because, you know, I have them all, so I might as well show you. Uh, the one in the middle here, this is the Scala. This one is called uh, Dark Violet and that was a special edition. And then I have the uh, Lamy Studio over on the left. And that is um, violet as well. So that one is of the years of old as well. These are both uh, more on the purple or magenta side. So you can see that nice kind of li that lilac color that the lilac is. All right, now let's talk about ink for the lilac pen. This is, you know, unfortunate they don't have a matching ink for this one either, but honestly, there's some good choices for this one. So we'll start out with Lamy, okay? So Lamy Crystal Barrel is my first choice. This is a maybe a little darker kind of magenta color. It's a really nice color just on its own. Uh, but I'm mentioning it just because it's Lamy. Uh, another one that maybe is a little closer, a bit on the red side, maybe a little too pink, but it's still a nice color, is the Lamy Crystal Rhodonite. Uh, so you can check those out. And then there is a Lamy Violet, which is a purple. It's more of a more of an actual purple, uh, not quite as, as pink, not quite as lilac as the lilac. And this one's only available in the cartridge, which is kind of weird, but that's how they do it. It's Ferris Wheel Press has blushing mushroom, which is a bit on the purple side, but it's a little bit more that like uh, pastel, that little more subdued color. So if you didn't want to go quite as vibrant as the Lamy inks I already mentioned, you can go blushing mushroom. Or 
Ferris Wheel Press has little Robinia, which is similar, maybe even a little lighter in color. Again, not as much pink in that one, but a nice lighter kind of pastel purple. I got a couple of Robert Oster inks for you. These are both shimmering ones. So if you look at Robert Oster Violet Clouds, nice purple with a silver shimmer to it. And then Robert Oster Violet Dreams. So if you want a clouds or dreams, you got some nice choices here. And then Robert Oster Cherry Blossom is a nice choice too. This one is a little more in the pink. Uh, got a lot more red to it, but I think I think I could think I can make this one pass in a lilac pen and say that it matches. A really popular Robert Oster color is rose gold tint, and I think this one is really good. Again, a bit more pink, a bit lighter, but um, really nice color, and I think it would look good in this pen. And then going with Sailor, the Ink Studio 150. This one leans a little more purple, but not as deeply saturated. I think it'll look pretty nice. And then another Ink Studio 231. This one's a little bit more magenta, but it's you know swings up more on the pink side, but I think it's uh, equally a nice color. So lots of great ink choice options for this lilac. Now looking at pricing and availability for these two pens, they're going to be consistent with all the other All-Stars. So the MSRP is $47 here in the U.S. and then we are going to have it for $37.60. Again, that's without a converter, so add six bucks on there if you wanted to pick that one up. You know, I'm shooting this in advance. I got samples of these pens, so I don't know when they're actually launching. If we happen to publish this video before we've launched them, go ahead and sign up for email notifications on our site and you'll be notified as soon as we get them in. Or if we've already launched it, go ahead and pick one up. You know, the way that these things usually work is we'll have them available for a period of time. They don't give us specific quantities or a period that they're going to be available, but we know that they are going to be in a limited capacity. So usually I want to say it's like nine months to a year, but that can vary a lot with a lot of different factors. So it's not something that like, you know, you have to drop everything and go get it right away. But I would move it up to the top of your list if you're interested in getting it because they will not be around forever and Usually these pens go up quite a bit in the secondhand market once they are gone. So something to keep in mind. So let me know what you think of the Petrol and Lilac All-Stars. Personally, I think they nailed it pretty good. I really like these colors that they added in here. I think they complement nicely with the other pens they've had in the line. It's got to be tough for Lamy because they've been doing this for a while. There's so many colors they've already done. How do they make it look different? I don't know. It's harder than you think, but I think they did a really good job with these ones. Uh, but I'm curious to know what you all think. Did I make good color recommendations on the inks? You know, is there any other questions you have based on the color? You know, based on, I tried to show you every pen I could, <laughs> but who knows? Um, let me know in the comments and be happy to, um, you know, answer any questions that you might have. Yeah, go check these out on gulepens.com. Thank you so much for watching and right on.